let's take a look at this water balance problem. In a closed watershed, we've got the following things, rainfall, recharge, overland flow, ET, and subsurface storm flow, and we're asked to determine the base flow flux. So the strategy here is to first draw a sketch of the problem. So I'll draw it in cross section. There's the water table. Here's the stream. And I'll label the fluxes. There's precipitation and ET, which I'm given. Recharge, which I'm given. Overland flow and subsurface storm flow. And what I want to calculate is the base flow. Okay, so there's the problem. And the strategy is to draw a control volume that has the base flow flux uh, crossing the boundary of the control volume and includes some other things. So the easiest way of doing this is to recognize that here's the aquifer and we can draw a control volume on the aquifer. So let's draw it like this. And uh, the only two things that cross this control volume are the recharge and the base flow. So this is a very easy balance. We have the recharge coming in equals the base flow going out for the balance on this aquifer. And since we're given the recharge, we can just calculate the base flow directly. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Let's see, the recharge is 13. Uh, and so the base flow is 13 inches per year. And that's something to keep in mind that uh, in, in a long-term average sense, the recharge and the base flow are going to be equal. Okay, so this is a pretty easy problem. And you can see that there were a lot of things that we were given that we didn't use because they didn't cross the control volume boundary. Now, let's say that uh, the recharge is not given. So we don't have that flux there. So I'm going to now raise this control volume and we've, we're kind of back to square one. So what to do here? Well, um, as it turns out, we can solve this problem with the information that's given. But what we need to do is recognize that it's going to be kind of hard to draw a control volume that crosses the this base flow flux and these other ones. But we could put the recharge in here. And if we do that, we could then draw a control volume that looks like this. This is the control volume, one of the control volumes on the Vedo zone. And if that's the case, for that control volume, we have the precipitation in equals ET plus overland plus subsurface plus recharge. And we can solve that to give us this. Uh, I guess that's P minus ET minus O minus subsurface. Okay, all of this stuff we're given so we can calculate the recharge. And then as the next step, we would do what we did originally and equate the recharge with the base flow. Okay, so this problem is really in two parts. The, the simple way to do it is to just recognize that the base flow is equal to the recharge. But then if we don't have the recharge, then we can calculate it using the other information that's given to us in the problem.